The future of our high street is very uncertain. Research shows a record number of retail outlets closed in 2018. Just under 2,500 stores closed their doors last year. On average, that's 16 stores per day, compared with nine opening daily. The news comes after Debenhams announced that the store fell into the hands of its lenders on Tuesday. And staff at this Debenhams store in Stockton and in Middlesbrough are facing a bleak future with around 50 stores to close. Here in Stockton, people have told me it's another blow to the high street. It's dying because, like I say, more people can't be bothered to do anything. I prefer to shop on, in shops, I prefer to go and have a look. What way would you sort of describe how the high street is going at the moment? Oh, going down, I think, really, down. Not, 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 there's not much to boost about here, is there? You know, nothing, you know, completely dead. What do you think should be done to help revive the high streets? Um, cheaper rentals for units. Um, because I think that's a major, a major thing and obviously a lot of people are going to the web to buy and purchase. Less our uh, taxes in their uh, rents and things. That's where trouble where a lot of shops are rented out, of, are priced out of the market because of the high cost of running a business. Some of the smaller towns, they charge a fortune for the parking and they, that's what drives people out. I live quite locally so I do like a 20 minute walk to come in, to, uh, there's no shops really, I'm just coming in to pick something up. People, I suppose it's everybody to blame really, because people are buying off the web and people are not coming to the towns anymore. Well, staff at the affected stores have been told by administrators to continue trading as normal. Kitty Andrews in Stockton.